What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about what happened with Sami Zayn and Chad Gable last night in the uh, gauntlet match to see who was going to be the number one contender to face Gunther for his Intercontinental Championship at this, uh, at this year's WrestleMania. Now, obviously, Sami Zayn and Chad Gable Gable were the uh, odds-on favorite. A lot of people either pick Sammy or they pick Gable to win this match and have that opportunity to go against Gunther. Now, they've been building up Sammy and the story that they've been trying to tell with him these past few weeks. And the same thing with uh, Chad Gable as well. Sammy's story is trying to get out of this rut, this losing streak, and trying to, you know, get him a championship opportunity in a championship match at this year's wrestlemania you know just to be on the card and and solidify himself as a guy that can get the job done and you saw that little interaction he had with gunther where gunther just looked at him as if he was a nobody like a jag and then we saw what chad gable uh had to say to gunther and how he felt about when he lost and his family being there and how that impacted him and how everybody else in that gauntlet match, they don't need to win as much as he does. So I like the story that they were telling there. But what kind of gave it away for me uh, during that match is one was Sammy's positioning in the gauntlet match after he beat Bronson Reed and Bronson Reed attacked him uh, from behind to leave the, uh, the rest uh, for Shinsuke as he was walking down a ramp to make it seem like an easy win for Shinsuke and how Sammy had to fight from underneath that positioning let me know there's a good chance Sammy's winning here because if if it was meant for Chad Gable to win if it was meant for him to win they would have put him in that spot the ultimate underdog fighting from underneath to win and as you saw, Sammy got the win against Shinsuke, and now he's depleted, doesn't have much energy left, and he has to fight Chad Gable in the last the last spot of the gauntlet. He's the last person in the gauntlet match. And another telltale sign is when Chad Gable had Sammy in the in the ankle lock, and he kept telling him, I need this win more than you do. I need this more than you. It kind of reminded me of when CM Punk in the Royal Rumble this year, told Cody, um, and he kind of said it loudly, y'all think I'm about to lose to Dusty's kid? That's when I knew, yep, CM Punk's losing. And right there, it confirmed that Chad Gable most likely was going to lose. Was it a heel-like statement? No, but it was the way he said it, the aggressiveness, having him in the ankle lock, like, I need this more than you. It kind of let me know there's a good situation or a, a good indication that, Chad Gable was going to lose here and even with the the roll-up some people questioned if his shoulders were all the way down on the roll-up I looked at the image again it looked like a clean a clean roll-up um it didn't look like it was a situation where his shoulders weren't down it looked like it was a pretty clean roll-up uh that he got on Chad so now that we know Sammy will be facing Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship at Wrestlemania the question becomes what happened now with Chad Gable. I've seen people on social media saying, you know, this was the wrong decision. Chad Gable should have won. Uh, people are trying to start the we want Gable hashtag trend. Um, to be honest with you, and, and I, I know some people may feel differently about this, but, you know, this is my personal opinion. I like Chad Gable's story. I actually do. I, I think it's... It's it's the ultimate babyface underdog fight from underneath story. But Sammy is also in that predicament too when he's kind of just by himself, hasn't really been winning many matches like he used to, and he's trying to find that fire again. Me personally, I wouldn't have had a problem if it was Chad Gable, but I think it's because of way that way they placed him in the match. If they would have placed him where Sammy was, I think it, it probably would have went a, di a different way. And this is really a tough one because both of these guys are fantastic and both of these guys deserve to be in that championship match. I wish there was a better way of setting setting it up where Chad, K uh, uh, um, Chad Gable didn't have to be 
didn't have to lose. Like maybe a uh, uh, a finish where it looks like both their shoulders are down or something of that way, something of, of that nature. And maybe there's a way to get them into get Chad Gable into the storyline to make it a triple threat match because I just think they both work well. But at the same time, I love the story they've been telling and the story they've been teasing with Sami Zayn and just how Gunther doesn't take him seriously. Like, I, I like that. I like that story just a bit more, even though Chad Gables is good too because he, he needs this win. I think you can still incorporate that maybe later down the line. Um, but honestly, if I had to choose... I'm gonna still go with Sammy here. I, I know some people feel like Chad to be uh Chad Gable should be in that spot. And I think he has a right, you know, a fair, you know, a fair, I guess, argument to say he deserves to be in that spot. But at the same time, I do like the idea of Sammy being there and the Sammy being the one to to face Gunther. Now, granted, I, I do feel like between these individuals. If you're going to have these individuals in this spot, I think you have Gunther lose at WrestleMania. Because this will give either Sammy or or Chad Gable that moment. Now, some people can say, well, Sammy already had a pretty good moment at last year's WrestleMania. So I understand that completely. But at the same time, you know, it would be a cool moment for Chad Gable to get that because I don't he's never had like a singles moment like that. I don't think I think they said last night he's never won like a singles uh championship. So that's why I understand why some people feel some type of way. Like it's like, damn, this could have been his moment. Unless they find a way to get him in this match, which I'm all for. I don't know. Cause you don't that type of momentum, I I don't think they waste that. I don't think they waste Chad not being in that spot. Because, I I mean, he deserves to be there. I, I I don't want him to be. I know he has Alpha Academy and they could be trying to go for the tag titles. But I think he needs to be in this match. I don't know how they find a way to get him in there. I'm okay with Sammy being on there. If I had to choose, I'm going to go with Sammy just about a little bit much. Not even much. Only because I like what they're doing there with him. But at the same time. I understand why fans want Chad Gable to be in that spot because he's never really had a WrestleMania moment like that. And I think people want to root for the guy to have that moment. So I don't know, man. This is a tough one. There's really no wrong answer here. If they can find a way to get Chad in the match, to make it a triple threat match, and you can make it a situation where Gunther doesn't have to get pinned. You can do that too. I'm okay with Gunther not getting pinned to lose his championship. I'm okay with that. That works. Because we know he's going to be pushed into the main event scene whenever he dropped that title. So it's okay. That I would prefer. Honestly. If they could have found a way to do that. And they can still find a way to get him in the match. If they really want to get him in the match. I just don't want him to be in no tag team match. And I don't want him to be left off for WrestleMania. I do believe he deserves to be in this match. Um, it's just, if I had to personally choose, I'm going to choose Sammy just a little bit. Like, it's not even a big margin. It's a small margin, really, if I had to choose. Um, but I completely understand why fans are, you know, pretty disappointed, you know? So we'll see how things play out. The question is, will he be a part of the match at WrestleMania? Who knows? So y'all comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys feel that Sammy should be in the match with Gunther or do y'all feel like Chad Gable should be the one facing Gunther at Wrestlemania or do y'all think that both of them should face him at Wrestlemania for a triple threat match y'all let me know down below there's no wrong answers here they're both fantastic wrestlers all three of these guys are fantastic and I think whoever faces him if it's both of them or one of the other we're gonna have a fucking potential five star classic that I can bet on doesn't matter we're gonna get great matches from either of these gentlemen here so y'all let me know how y'all feel about it but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still in speed to youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace